We are so proud of South Africa and this is truly a huge milestone. Construction has started on the world's biggest radio telescope in South Africa. South Africa has stepped into the next phase of developing the world's largest radio astronomy instrument. It is aimed at revealing events since the cosmic dawn when the first stars and galaxies were formed. South African officials and scientists have recently celebrated a huge milestone towards building the world's largest radio astronomy instrument, which is co-hosted with Australia and aims to unlock mysteries of the universe. It's truly a great news, an African country making moves in this sector. Usually, as we all know, we are not involved, but now South Africa building the world's largest radio instrument. Uh, before that, Uganda launched um, their own satellite and also Zimbabwe. The historic journey into space set off here at NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia, USA. On board the NG-18 Cygnus cargo craft was Uganda's Pearl Africa Sat-1 satellite. Alongside was Zimbabwe's ZimSat-1. Both nations were involved as part of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency multi-nation project. At home, there was excitement at the public live stream. I can't describe my feeling, but I can describe what I saw in my neighbor's face. Well, he was sweaty and... That shows it was so exciting. The Pearl Africa Sat-1 is a 10 centimeter cubic satellite that was designed and developed by three Ugandan engineers. It took 15 months to complete. Truly, it's inspiring seeing African countries um, developing in other sectors as well because at the end of the day, we have to be well-rounded. We can't only focus on one thing and lack on the other. If we are, you know, trying to do every little thing the best way we can, now our growth is going to be well-rounded and it's going to benefit a lot of people. So we're very proud of South Africa. Well done, Uganda. Well done, Zimbabwe. Well done, Ethiopia. Ethiopia has done that as well so we're just proud of you anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about African countries being more involved in this field I am Ongil Zalalem I'll see you on the next one bye